is that frackin' thing doing in the CIC? Admiral Sarkis? Commander? Admiral Kane asked me to interrogate the Clothos model, and... It has something you all should hear. To confirm, I give this information freely. I have already provided Lieutenant Agathon with the location of a monotheist research facility in orbit over Geminon. Parts of myself, of all three ILs, were created there. I believe that with access to its programming testbed, I may determine the location and intentions of Lachesis. Why are you listening to this thing? Do you think it would so easily betray its own people? Lachesis may be of my people, but our ethos is not shared. Cooperation with Colonial Fleet is compatible with my mandate. They would eradicate you completely to fulfill theirs. While they are awake, my work shall remain undone, and I, too, will be hunted. You still have to get something out of this. Revenge couldn't have been that easily programmed into you. I do not want revenge, Praetor. I want only to do God's work with my own hands. Lachesis believes my faith has strayed, and that I aspire to contest their work. As we speak, they search the colonies for every single one of my hosts, and destroy them. At this facility, an old reversion was hidden and has yet remained undiscovered. In return for access to the testbed data, I ask that you retrieve my inactive host and bring it safely to me. And if we refuse? Then I shall return to my cell, where I will await the arrival of Lachesis, and with them, our destruction. Detected a base star group, sir. A fortified colony is under attack. Battlestar group is under attack. A fortified colony is under attack. Battlestar Group is under attack. is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. Cylons are on the board. I'm getting some weird reads from their ships. They are forces from Cylon Command. Lachis is his own personal guard. They know there is value in this facility, if not what it is. Commander, launch Raptors and have our Marines board the station as soon as there's a clear runway.
On it, Commander. Contacts. More units have jumped inside our engagement range, sir. We've shown our hand now. I hope you trust Kane to do this right, Lena, because I'm not sure that I do. No contact inside. Sounds like a real mess in there, probably abandoned for some time. Glad I talked my way out of having to go on point for this one.
On it, Commander. Missiles on their way. Not today, Tracker. IFS confirms unit is hostile. Commander, we've got another wave of Dreadus contacts. All hostile. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Marines have confirmed access to the code test beds. I'm setting up the data transfer now. This... Yeah, this is gonna take a while. The data set is big. There is a faster alternative, Lieutenant. Locate my reversion host and use it to download and store the data locally. We can alter the MCP's transfer protocols to accommodate the size of the data set. That is a horrible idea. Except it would probably work. We could literally just walk out with the data. This facility should be a priority one target. We're here to stop the Cylons, not collaborate with them. Lachesis will learn how you intend to locate them. They will adjust their behavior accordingly and render this entire endeavor null. The first and last you will ever see of them will be at their complete subjugation of your colonies. Admiral, the only advantage you have right now is the speed at which this data set can be processed and your plan to confront Lachesis formulated. Do it. Tell them to find the robot and use it to transfer the data. Lords, help me if this is what sinks us. On it, Commander. Missiles on their way. Understood. Incoming! Missiles incoming! Marines have found and connected the Clothos reversion host. The tech crew is overriding the MCP with the lab's data set now. say we all.
Yes, Commander. We're gonna hammer the frackers so they can't get back up. Nicholas is taking damage. Transfer is complete. Marines have the package and are returning to Raptors. Wait for clearance and then blow the station. Admiral, there is decades of research in that facility. Neural networks, probability models, quantum processing. Most of the technology in there is as yet unused by any Cylon agent. You would destroy the library to kill a cockroach. In this case, the cockroach is worth killing. Missiles on their way. Understood. Yes, Commander. So say we all. So say we all. Yes, Commander. Understood. Missile tubes prepped.
Yes, sir. So say we all. Yes, sir. Missiles incoming! Daedalus is taking damage. Understood. Missiles on their way. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. Understood. So say we all.
so say we all. Missiles on their way. Destroyed. I've got Tex in the hangar waiting to receive the... The... Clothos. Take this one back to the brig until we need it again. Lieutenant Agathon, I want to know what we can get from that data set within the hour. Dismissed. I've got a tube of firepower waiting to make a new friend. Flight control is warmed up and preparing solutions. Watch your intervals, people. Squadron on me. Keep your target locked and watch for clearance. in our network. I can't keep them out. Copy, pilot. Copy, pilot. 
this thing it's just standing there in the way i am conserving the host's energy i assume you would prefer not to deplete its stores and lose access to the data set before we have completed the transfer as if you aren't somehow communicating between yourselves anyway i am not the host is lifeless it's mcp idol i'd only be talking to myself that's kind of my point that thing is you you and it have to be linked somehow that host is not me, Lieutenant. Until I die, this body retains my consciousness. It is impossible for someone to inhabit two bodies at once. A conscious mind is indivisible. Unless my dead man switch triggers that host specifically, it will never talk. That's another thing I don't get about you. Why talk out loud? Why not just send your thoughts to each other over a network like any other computer? Language is a conceit of the living. To communicate ideas without language as the medium would be perfect. Infallible. Only God is infallible. It can't be that simple. We have to believe that you don't use this massive advantage over us just because of... because of faith? Why not be that simple? Our shared fallibility should provide you some comfort. Thank you for this discussion, Lieutenant. It is clear to me now that I must speak with Lachesis if we are to prevent their annihilation of the human race. A chat. That's your big idea. You go talk with it, and it decides, yeah, sure, drop tools and peace for all. No, no, no. Say that we figure out where it is. Find a way to get you face to face without being shot out of the sky. How do you even begin that conversation? What do you say? I... I do not yet know. <laughs> <laughs> 